me is, oh my gosh, it's been such a long time. I'm so glad to have you today in my mom's kitchen. This is my mom's house. And I'm over because I came for a visit. And I also brought a friend with me. But where is she? Oh my gosh, where is that chicken? Oh, there you are. Hey, chickadee, come on back this way. Oh, hi, chickadee. It's so good to see you too. Oh my gosh. Oh, she so loves to be petted. And she just came from the chick in at Gregory Lincoln. And so I'm so glad you could join us, chickadee. Are you ready to talk to the kids about what we're going to do today? What do you think we're going to do? What? What? Oh, we're going to read a book. Yes, it's called If You Plant a Seed. Oh, you're getting it for me? Nice. Okay. If You Plant a Seed by Kadir Nelson. Let's read. Thank you. If you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed, in time, with love and care, Tomato, carrot, and cabbage plants will grow. Yes, they will. Look how big that is. Oh, look, there's carrots, tomatoes, and cabbage. Good enough to eat. Uh, no, 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 girl. You can't eat those. It's just a book. No. Ooh, visitors. Chickadee, are those friends of yours? If you plant a seed of selfishness, in a very short time, it will grow and grow and grow. Oh, that's not a good situation. Mm -mm. Into a heap of trouble. Mm -mm -mm. But if you plant a seed of kindness, oh, look how sweet. Mouse has given her a cherry tomato. In almost no time at all. Fruits of kindness. will grow and grow and grow. Yes. Look at everybody working together. I like that. Look, chickadee, look. It's a beautiful garden. And look, everybody's so happy. And they are very, very sweet. I told you, silly girl, you cannot eat that. The end. Did you like that? All right, I hope you really enjoyed that story. If you plant a seed now, Let's get on to our experiment and what we're gonna to do today. So, I want you to think about everything you know about seeds. 
Why? Because in a minute, we're going to form a hypothesis. And hypothesis is an educated guess you make based on information you already know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to think, think, think about everything you know about what it takes to grow a plant from a seed. All right. You got that locked into your brain? Great. Keep that information because we're going to use it later. Now let's get on to our experiment and what you're going to need. So today you're going to need a Ziploc baggie like your sandwiches go in, a little cup of water, a paper towel, some dried beans that you can get from your parents' pantry, but you must get permission first. And finally, some tape. Are you ready to start your art experiment and form your hypothesis? Okay, let's get started. So let's begin with our experiment. Let's take our baggie and open it up. And we're gonna take our water and our paper towel and we're gonna soak it in here and get it all nice and wet. In go our beans. One, two, three. We're gonna take our water, squeeze a little bit out so it's not super drippy. We're gonna put our folded up paper towel into our Ziploc bag. And we're gonna seal it nice and tight, you see? You got your seeds, you're gonna make sure they're all sealed up just like that. And you're gonna find a well-lit window that gets sunlight most of the daytime. And you're gonna take your tape and you're going to pull a piece out and you're going to tape it right to the window seal. Just like that. Now, it's time for you to formulate your hypothesis. What do you think's going to happen with those beans? That is the guess that you're gonna make right about now. Oh, you got a hypothesis? You're gonna think about it? Okay. Okay, Chickadee, you have your hypothesis? All right, so I hope you have your hypothesis too. If I were you, I would write it down so we won't forget, right? We're gonna check on it on our next lesson next week and see if our hypothesis was right on point or if it was a little off or all the way wrong. I bet yours might be close or it might be on. I don't know. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining Chickadee and I. Talk to you soon.